Hello everyone and welcome to Cabin Fever Crochet on location with me Helene here for a little yarn on the lake. Thought I'd come out today, bring you with me. It's a beautiful day. The birds are singing and I thought we could do this now while I'm pretty much the only one here except for one other woman and she is with her two dogs way out on the dock and before the season really starts kicking in and kind of gets hopping and more people out here. I thought it would be super quiet, but it looks like there's some new construction uh, grading for a new home pad. You can hear the back hoe in the background pretty loud. So we'll just have to deal with it, bear with me, as I show you this really neat interchangeable hook set that I picked up last month I went to the North Town Mall in Spokane, and when I went upstairs, there's this very large open pavilion area, and there's a food court around one perimeter of it, and the rest is completely open, and there were vendors of variety from small, independent-owned businesses uh, up to just vendors who would do craft and artisan fairs which have not been open because of the pandemic and people had limited venues and availability in order you know, in which they could show their products. So well this is neat. I had a few minutes. I walked around and they had a couple of bakeries and a guy doing ironworks and they had two rock and mineral vendors which was very interesting to me because I am really kind of a rock hound. <laughs> and that was fun and then i spotted this guy his name is dennis and he has a variety of woodwork small uh, like practical usable and specialty items and in front of the table he had this wonderful hook set i had been wanting an interchangeable hook set for quite a while and I've looked at them and nothing just really kind of grabbed me that much or felt super comfortable in my hand. I either liked the hook and didn't like the handle or vice versa. I happened to have with me yarn and my own hook. So I used my yarn, I got the, to test them. And so I am going to insert a clip when I was at the fair and then show you some of the different items that he has along with the sets. Now the hooks are all the same but he offers different types of handles and I will show you those and then tell you about the one that I got, the type of wood. He has quite a few different options of wood. He will do custom work and then I will get into and tell you about the hooks, show you my samples, what I liked, um, pros, any cons compared to what I typically use and all that. So here we go. Okay. And your name is? Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, I'm Helene. Nice to nice meet Nice to you. meet you. Okay. Because of the background sound that was getting louder, I decided to do a voiceover instead with an overview of some of Dennis's other items. Here there's quite the array of gorgeous pens, mechanical pencils, beautiful hardwoods, quality mechanisms in a variety of shapes, sizes, and themes. This one caught my eye and at first I thought, how sweet, that's a little heart, until I looked down and saw that they were actually paw prints where on the bottom it says, I love my dog. How adorable is that? What a special and unique gift that would make for someone. And these are actually bones, not hearts, which makes a lot more sense. And then over to the right, these are either essential oil or perfume bottle reservoirs. And the top unscrews and there is a sponge dauber on the inside that you pull out and then fill the liquid through the little hole there. Here we go with some beautiful quality seam rippers. This is Bacote wood and it's dual ended. So at one end you have the larger, thicker tip and the other you have the smaller. And now to talk briefly about the interchangeable hook sets here and I'll get into that more in just a couple of minutes when I am live at the lake. 
Okay, so this measures total length from the tip of the hook to the bottom of the handle, approximately six inches. Some are a little bit smaller, and he'll, he will work with you if you want a custom size. And the whole length of the hook itself is two and a half inches long. And there is an engraved portion on that, as you can see, that has the U.S. letter and the number on that and you can see where the hook separates uh, from the bottom of the shaft and then there's that little portion that goes down to the base of the handle but the part that you actually use on the hook itself runs about two inches in length and I found that my yarn did not catch on either the engraved portion or that bit of separation at all. Dennis uses all very nice hardwoods. As you can see, that one is Bethlehem Olive. This is maple. We have mahogany over here. And then coming up is, there we go, another maple. You can see that some are turned differently than others. And there are a couple of other shapes, such as this Mexican coffee, where it tapers a little more. This one, hickory, really one of my favorites. It just it's felt so smooth, so beautiful. I love the different striations in the wood and how the light catches it. And depending on the angle, it almost seems like it glows from within. This is red oak, very, very nice also. And you can see how the handle tapers inward from the top and the bottom a little bit as well. Oh, and I wanted to tell you the circumference measurement of the handles range from one and a half to two and a half inches. Just a few more things on the other side of the table to show you. You have bottle openers, corkscrews. That beauty is purple heartwood. And then to the right here, I have ice cream scoops and all the metals are really nice. This is stainless steel. And then that beautiful hickory wood that I like so much cheese slicers and two sizes of pizza cutters a couple of sizes of pie servers and then two sizes for coffee scoops there's a solid brass or stainless steel in a one and a two tablespoon serving and then looks like you have like potato and maybe apple slicers as well Oh, and this is a nine, yes, a nine piece hook set with a size ranging from a USC 2.75 all the way up to a K 6.5 millimeter. So anyway, I was thrilled. I tested them out. I went ahead and I bought it and I had narrowed down my choice of wood to the hickory and I have not heard of this Bacote wood before and I looked it up and it is not an endangered wood but it is more rare and it's considered a luxury wood also and I just really liked the weight it has a good weight nice balance it's very smooth it's it's beautiful I don't know how well it's showing up in this light, but Dennis said that each one comes out differently. No two are the same, and they each one just tells their own story. So what I, I like about this is that the hooks smooth, they're smooth, they fit in tightly. You can kind of hear when it comes out. I mean, it's a nice snug, and it's a flush fit. There are no gaps in this whatsoever. And some of the shapes, as you saw, they are more narrow. One has a contour at the top and bottom, so it was a good indentation for your thumb, if you like that. I tend to work a little bit higher on the neck of the hook, and this one was a little bit longer, just ever so slightly, so it was more about the length of my Furl's Odyssey which I use all the time for just about every yarn. So it's very comfortable and similar as far as the feel of that goes. And again, a good weight and, and it helped reduce the hand fatigue. And I know that hooks are very individual to everyone. And that's what I like is that he has different handles and he will, as I mentioned, do custom work. 
uh, on the various shapes and then you can have it a little bit shorter, a little bit longer if you like. And just to let you know, I'm gonna show you his card. His name's Dennis Harmon. He is out of Deer Park, Washington, Washington State. And he does not have a website. He used to be on Etsy, but not anymore. But I do have his email address and phone number. And you can work through the mail if that's something that you're interested in. But I just wanted to show you this I picked up. And, and I told him that I would just go ahead and pass his information along too. And he's very, very nice man. Easy to work with. And I'm going to leave all his contact contact information below so what i noticed first off is the hooks they remind me they seem identical to susan bates inline hook and i haven't worked with that too much i do have a couple of just the regular you know, straight hooks without a handle and i have the silva loom with the little rubberized handle, which I did not care for at all. But the ones that I have are older hooks made in the USA that I picked up at yard sales. And those are actually pretty nice. They have a little more substance to it. They seem much, much smoother and a lot better quality, the older ones. So actually I would compare these, to the quality of this to the older hooks. For the most part, they work well for me. I tried from the smallest up to the largest and a few in between. I probably tried out of this nine set hook, at least five to just give them a really good shot and with different yarns. So what I first did, I took the largest, the K 6.5 millimeter, and I tested that in this Premier Serenity chunky yarn and it has little flex and it's a tweed. So I wanted to try something that I thought, oh, maybe it might snag or you know, get hung up. I had no issue with that. This calls for a USL, a, um, well, it says it's an eight millimeter here. So I went down to the K 6.5 millimeter and I had no issue with it getting hung up or snagging and it was very very smooth and easy to work with quite nice stitch definition and then when i tried this is bernat the maker home decor yarn if you remember this it's tubular it's a 72 percent cotton the rest is a nylon core this calls for the same size hook the l hook and I went down to the K and it was, I think because of the high cotton content, which can have more bite and texture. Um, the stitch definition was good, but it was difficult for me to crochet with. I could feel that, that bite and the drag and it slowed me down. I'm a pretty fast crochet. I don't have to speed crochet with everything because some yarns I do have to slow down for and I, anyway, and I will show you one. And, particularly on you know depends on the project too but um yeah I, it just didn't work as well for me as my furls odyssey and i brought one with me if you're not familiar with this hook now you know they, these are quite a bit more i mean this is the furls odyssey in the same size the k 6.5 millimeter and even in the smaller going down smaller and with the yarn with with some drag to it it is still very very sleek and smooth and this is nickel plated and um, but you know paying $33 plus shipping for one hook and this hook set I apologize I didn't give you the price $55 for the entire nine hook set yes and I actually think I might get an additional handle separately in that hickory that I like so much, just in case, just to have a backup in case I ever did something or something happened to the handle, then I can still use my set. I, I like to have backups, sometimes backups to backups too, depending on what it is. So I did need to go back to my Odyssey hook, which is my all time favorite hook. 
of all that I've used and it is my go-to but for some yarns that are super slick uh, like a bamboo or a very very lightweight yarn that has a lot of slip to it I do want something that has a little drag to keep the yarn from just slipping and flying off my hook every few stitches so that can be a plus just depending on your project and the type of yarn so I did those two then I did an, uh, another basic the Red Heart soft yarn which calls for an i5 0.5 millimeter hook and that's what I went with and I chose this one to test because it can be a little bit splitty okay? and it can catch on the yarn I just did a small swatch but I had no issue with that whatsoever and this is a J six millimeter hook so I'm going up one hook size and what I do feel is in the very top of the hook I guess this is considered the shaft rather I call it the neck but that's the shaft and then this this is the neck up underneath there there is a bit of sharpness and I do feel a little just a slight little hitch to it when I wrap do a yarn over okay and pull up just in, in each section but I noticed the more I worked with each hook the smoother they got so I was wondering if maybe there was some type of coating or residue or something in the manufacturing process of the hooks that caused that and then once that wears off well then it just becomes smoother because I did notice it with this J hook too that the more I used it so I used two different hooks and it glided for the most part just fine and really nice stitch definition and it didn't get hung up on the yarn at all and then I worked with the Karen Cotton Cakes, another one that has more texture. And this one is densely spun. It's, it's very tight. And it's, I believe, 60, 40 cotton acrylic somewhere in there. And it calls for an H5 millimeter hook, which is what I used. That was totally fine. I had no problem with that at all. Then I went up to the J6 millimeter and just hung up a little too much for me. There was just too much drag on it. Then I worked with two strands together, which was a project I was testing out that kind of went awry, <laughs> but I did test that out and it was fine with my Furls Odyssey, but it was difficult in the same hook size with that K6.5 because I think for the thickness of these two together, one more hook size up would have been better, but it, it just wasn't working for me. It just had too much drag. I could feel that little hitch too much with this K hook with two strands of the Karen cotton cakes. But that's just kind of the nature of yarn and sometimes I have found that different hooks work better for different types of yarn and that's why I have a few that I rotate for that reason. I don't have a huge like, hook collection. I have tried some here and there, like I said, and then my progression from where I started to where I am now over the years, and then what was available starting out, which was just your basic aluminum or steel hook at that time. And um, so for me, I just have the few that I really, really like, and then that's what I alternate with. So this one here is the, I, like how, I just love how that fits in. This is a discontinued, sorry, this is there, and one's coming and one's going. This is a Lion Brand Ombre Life. It's the same as the Red Heart, it's a wrap the rainbow not the just regular it's a wrap but the rainbow which is a four strand individual strands of thread yarn okay well, you can see that try not to get too much in your face <laughs> so i worked with this and this is one of these yarns that i, I use my furls but it can be a little too slippery for this yarn and I, I tend to wind up because of that have a lot of drop 
loops and then I maybe not notice it till I've made progress in my project and then I what I usually do is I just place a little stitch marker and then I go back and, and reconnect and actually have a video on that. So I'm gonna leave the link below and to anything else that I think is uh, related to this video information that I think that would um, be good to include with that. So anyway, yeah, this is the G four millimeter hook, which is what I typically use with this yarn it calls for an e which is what i said 3.5 millimeter <laughs> yeah that's just way too small for me um, and the projects that i have used for this anyway i think that depends on the project but it's it's fine i might feel a slight hitch now and then but nothing too much out of the um, ordinary sometimes i have to uh, adjust the angle that i that i hold that hook but uh, anyway, here's the front side of it. So I just wanted to show you. And again, very consistent stitch definition. I actually like it for this yarn because it has just enough drag to slow the yarn down to keep from dropping loops and to slow me down too. So anyway, I think that's it. That is what I wanted to show you and tell you all about this. So I'm so thrilled now to have a boxed set that I can travel and even take it to the lake here. Because sometimes, I don't know what I'm going to make. I'll grab a stitch book and a couple few different balls of yarn and then I'm like, okay, now which hooks do I wanna bring? So I bring which ones I think I might use but inevitably I get here, I'm like, oh, I really want to go with this size instead, you know, go down or go up or whatever. And so now I have them all. And oh, you have, um, there's a nine hook set, but you have eight slots. And then this one at the bottom to hold the hook. And anyway, so that's that. I'm really happy with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review and demo. I was excited to share it with you and picked a really nice day to be here, except for <laughs> all the activity going on. It's like, no, I'm here now. Everybody, quiet on the set. <laughs> all right, take care, everyone, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.